Kentucky lawmakers are back at the State House today for the 2020 session. They have a lot on their plates, but some bills have already been pre-filed. Uh, one of those actually deals with situations like these. People attacking sports referees. Nine on your side's Raven Richard explains what's in this bill and why one tri-state school is all for it. Lawmakers are hoping the days of referees being abused will soon be over, and that's why they're proposing beefing up the penalty for folks who decide to cross that line. We've seen them before, the viral videos of parents attacking referees. These videos here did not happen in northern Kentucky. We need to have strict penalties for, for people who for bad behavior. Michael Hunter is the assistant principal at Newport High School. He's also in his 21st year as a referee. Over the years, I've had many things said to me. He says emotions run high in games. Being a school administrator for 10 years, I, I've had bad behavior out of fans. Um, I've had to remove uh, fans. Hunter says it's rare to see fights with officials, but having harsh punishment can deter some of that behavior. If, if a person knows what the consequence is going to be before they misbehave, they're less likely to do so. It's like having law enforcement at your games. The proposal would make assaulting a referee a class D felony. A survey by the National Association of Sports Officials found that 75% of officials quit because of how adults act at games. Butch Cope from the Kentucky High School Athletic Association says. And the number one thing they tell us when they don't come back is we don't like the way we're being treated by coaches, players, parents, administrators, whatever. At the end of the day, I look forward to the days that I have games. It's just a game. The legislative session goes on now until April 15th. In Newport, Raven Richard, 9 on your side.